Hello everyone. Have you seen this loading animation anywhere? Yeah, it's there in CRED application. When you pay someone through UPI using CRED application, this is the animation that we see. So let me create a frame here. I will just adjust the frame size to be uh, 2200 by 400. Yeah, that looks fine. Now let's create one rectangle, pressing R and then of course scaling it up. I will make it in a black in color so that we can see it. I will just uh, adjust the size of the rectangle to something like 40 by 200 pixels. Looks better. 160, one, 160 I think would be better. 160, yeah. Okay, now it feels fine. So I will double click it. Once I double click this thing, uh, once I double click it, you can see the corners. I will just adjust the corners so that it has this kind of shape or this kind of shape, right? Now I will change the radius corner to four and apply a stroke. Make the stroke color to white, applying the uh, outer outside push for the stroke. I will change the uh, background to black so that we can see how this looks like. For stroke, I am just applying a linear gradient and this is how I will rotate the linear gradient. Okay, adjusting the linear. It looks fine now. Just a little bit of scale, fine. Now I will duplicate this thing. Control D. See, like this. And I will adjust the scale from the Y axis. Looks to be fine to me. Let's do it quickly. Now I will just select all this setup, duplicate it, control D and then yo, I will just shift it to here. I used uh, shift H to rotate this thing like this so that we have a symmetrical shape here. I will just check it is on center, looks to be in center, properly in center. I can adjust a little bit more uh, for having a better refinement. If you want to define, you can define based on your thought process all right so setup is ready now I will just duplicate the last one and adjust uh, based on the symmetry of this structure like this yeah it looks to be fine okay now this is fine I will create one rectangle now press R and then creating this rectangle I will just adjust the shape now I will apply a fill in a black color with a gradient. Just use this uh, changing rotating the gradient to match perfectly with the background. At the center I am making opacity to zero so that only the center part is visible. Adjusting this rectangle so that the corners of this uh, symmetry is not that visible like it's fading out. You can see the looks look it looks like it's fading at the corners that what we need here so now we will make a component of this by clicking component here selecting the frame and component and then i will do some changes here let me show you how i will set a rectangle that is above this thing unhide it now hide it basically okay now you can see that there is a rectangle i am moving it towards the nearest rectangle and scaling it up like this so that it matches exactly to that uh, structure. I will repeat this process, just adjusting this thing, then repeat this process to for the uh, nearest one. See, I will move it. Yeah, this one, I will move it. See, I move it to the second uh, rectangle and then scale it up. This process needs to be uh, very accurate so that your loading animation looks very good. It's a little, okay, this much. Fine, it looks fine. Now, uh, this one is different. After doing this thing, just the last one I'm just doing it, I will tell how to do it in the center because center one would be different. So now I've reached to center. All right, here, after doing this, center one would be different. We won't change the position. We just scale it like this did you got it 
I scale it in the x, x axis and then repeat the same process. For others, I'm just moving the position and scaling it down. Only for the center, you need to scale it like that. But for others, you have to move the position, position and change the scale, right? All right, so setup is ready. Let's prototype. We will click prototype, select the default variant and connect the uh, line like this. I'm using after delay one millisecond, smart animate and type is linear. Remember it's linear. Now from variant one to default, after delay one millisecond, smart animate to instant. Now let's create one frame, copy the default variant command c command v while selecting the frame now let's play so this is how this will look like see how cool it look likes thanks for watching my channel now in the youtube description please go here and press subscribe button and try to give the whole thing here thank you very much